In this recording, I'm going to show you guys how to do a basic drop shadow. So sometimes uh, we'll take product shots, or we'll have a product shot that you know, say, has uh, no background to it, or a background that you knocked out um, using green screen technology or whatever. But you want to cast just a very simple, basic drop shadow. Okay. So the way we can do that is is when I've got my product, I'm going to create a layer that's underneath it. So here's a layer that's underneath, and I'm going to set that layer. Multiply. And we're just going to name this layer my drop shadow. Then I'm going to make my foreground color. I'm going to make it about a middle tone gray. Somewhere around in there. Then I'm going to take my marquee tool here in the toolbox. I'm going to select the ellipse one. And when I'm casting this shadow, one of the things I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want it to kind of be the same perspective as the bottle. So the shadow, my ellipse, is going to be kind of like this, like a flat circle. And also, I don't want it to stick too far out over the edges. And then on that drop shadow layer, have it selected, I'm going to fill it with my foreground color, that gray. And now I'm going to deselect my marching ants. And as you can see, I now have kind of like a little drop shadow. Like if I move it down here, it looks like the beer bottle's floating. So I'm going to kind of keep it close to it. But that's not the shadow that we really want. We uh, Shadows are soft. So I'm going to go up to my filter. I'm going to go to Blur. I'm going to select Gaussian Blur. And as I raise this up, you'll see that it starts softening the shadow. And that's essentially what you want. Is you want a nice kind of soft shadow, like so. so we'll go ahead and go with that. And if I move this down, you know, I got a nice soft sort of shadow. Let's have these floating. And then the next thing we're going to do, let's zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see, is uh, I've got to actually kind of have a little darker shadow underneath my beer bottle to show um, where the bottle is touching the ground. See, like this white, it's making it look like that's the ground. And just the shadow alone isn't enough, and it's a, a grounding shadow. So I'm going to create another layer, set it to multiply, and select my brush tool. I'm going to make sure that it's a soft brush, so zero hardness. And I'm going to set my flow to about 60% is fine. And this is kind of a small brush, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally, I can go on top of the bottle, but it's not actually going to be on top of the bottle. It's under the bottle. So it's OK if you put your brush up here. And actually, let's uh, make that a little smaller. And kind of see what we're doing here. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit darker, too, because those grounding shadows are Essentially what I'm doing is slowly building it up. So that I get this nice shadow right at the base of the bottom. nice drop shadow. And that's how you do a very basic, very basic drop shadow in Photoshop. 